Hello everybody and welcome to the Mighty Electronic Box for the week of the 24th of March 2014. It is a two-man show this week. Say hi, John. Yo. Oh, it's take two. You're supposed to say hi, John. Let's do this shit right. What are you doing, man? Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, Brad is... I don't actually know what Brad's doing, but Brad is not here. So that's all that nope. really matters. So uh, yeah, we're just going to kick it off with what we've been playing. So John, what have you been playing this past week or like three weeks? Seeing it's been, um, since been the show. Yeah. Uh, so I've basically been trying to test out my PC. Um, I probably it's probably a bad thing, but I think I've probably bought more games over the last three weeks than I've played. Um, like quite significant. I've bought <clears throat> I've bought way too many games. Basically. Yeah, that um, sounds pretty normal. Games I don't have enough time to play um like i've had this copy of dark souls 2 sitting on my desk for a while and i still haven't played it um i guess uh let's actually talk about games i have played uh i played some loof trousers on the vita and um, that? that is a i don't i don't really know what to compare it to um it's sort of like um, arcadey shooter thing um, where you are a plane and you shoot other planes and boats um, but it's got pretty cool music um, and a pretty cool art style as well uh, and you basically fly around, get killed and fly around some more um, unlock upgrades and shit for your plane um, it's sort of hard to describe it's I'd, I'd recommend watching the quick look on giant Kong because it's like 20 minutes and gives you a pretty good idea of what the game's about um better than i can describe it because it's i don't know that was a firework or something <laughs> does not seem like the time for fireworks no for, it does not um no um yeah so uh, i've sort of just want to play something for 20 minutes sort of game um it's pretty cool and I think it's like eight quid or something on the on the uh, PSN store. So um, I don't know. Play it, maybe. It's cool. I'll probably check it out. My, um, uh, my Vita is like probably my most used console now, actually. Yeah, uh, I, I I neglected it recently, but uh, I saw that was coming out on VN. Thought, well, well, that'll be a good excuse to to pick it up um, and actually play some stuff on it. Um, God, what else? Uh, I played a bunch more Daisy. Um, that yeah, it's pretty much everything I said last time still stands. Like, uh, uh, I haven't really seen that many more human characters. Um, in the time I've been playing, uh, the few that I have have been, the few encounters I've had have been pretty weird. Um, like I met this guy who. I'm not sure where he was from. He definitely wasn't English, but he, he was speaking English. Um, but I, did, I was chatting to someone on Skype at the time, so I couldn't really talk to him. Um, but like, I, I'd been in like a little, like one of the starting sort of areas, and some guy came along and shot me, uh, but hadn't killed me. So I was like running away from a village. Then that, that guy was like running in the opposite direction, and just sort of stopped. and was like, "Oh, do you need help?" And like, I typed in the chat like bandages please dude uh he actually he actually helped me out as well um and then like we just sort of tooled around for a bit we're running down this road and then got brutally murdered by some guy that we never actually saw um so that was the end of our little journey uh but yeah that that game's still sort of weird and broken um how long do you need to like get into that game would you say um I don't know, like, I don't know if that's a game for, for everyone, I guess. Like, especially if you're sort of time-limited, like, I, I I wouldn't really recommend it. Like, I, I've been playing less and less of it as stuff at work's been getting a bit more crazy and life's been getting in the way. So, um, like, I can see that game being awesome if you're, like, I don't know, at uni or something, or yeah. you've got a lot of spare time, but having a, having a full-time job and having all this shit going on, uh, it's it's difficult to to play. Um, God, uh, I played some Battlefield 4 because I thought that game is supposed to look pretty good and it was like 20 quid. Um, Does it look good? Yeah, I thought it would be a, a good... 
yeah, it looks it looks pretty fucking good. Uh, Does it play good? I can play it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a battlefield game, I guess. Like it doesn't seem wildly different to the past battles. Like I, the last one I played properly was uh, Bad Company Two, um, but I, I was really heavily into Battlefield Two uh, back in the day. Um, and obviously, it's you know it's it's a different game to what it was back then. Yeah. Um, but it's it's still it's still one of those. Um, it's still just ridiculous battles and crazy shit happening all the time and you not really having a, a clue what's going on. Um, but it's, it's still fun. Uh, I didn't really... I, I sort of started the campaign, but was like, mm, I, this isn't why I want to play Battlefield, really. Um, but that intro is really good. The, like, the very start of that game is, is pretty funny, actually, uh, and pretty well done. But um, And it looks amazing. Uh, but yeah, the campaign's not really why I'm there. Uh, but the, yeah, the multiplayer stuff is is still is still battlefieldy enough. Um, I, I I'm not sure how I feel about launching that game from a browser. Um, that still sort of sucks. Uh, like like being booted out into like the browser when you like want to change servers or something is is sort of dumb. Um. And having to launch the campaign from there as well, I'm not really a fan of. But that's weird. Know, Why do you have EA to do that? For you. Is that because of Origin? Or... Uh, I don't know. Battle log. All oh, right. Battle log Origin. That is shit. really I don't strange. Know. It's just it's dumb. Yeah, uh, I I'm not a fan at all. Um, but yeah, and it, like having to do all your like sort of loadout stuff in the it, like in the browser isn't isn't great, especially because it the the plugin that is required seems to just like decide it needs to reinstall every time you open it up and then like won't find a gate it's it's dumb it's really dumb um i, I don't know why it's like that but it is uh, and it sort of sucks um yeah i don't know like i haven't really considering we haven't recorded for quite a while i haven't really played that much stuff uh i played some more crusader kings 2 but not really enough to warrant even talking about um like I bought Assassin's Creed Four and still haven't played it. Whoa! Actually, te- technically, it's still like downloading. Why'd you buy that? Which is, I don't know. What it, are you it, doing? It, people were talking positively about it, and I thought, true. It, it's I, one. I gotta admit, I have been tempted because I do hear that it's supposed to be, you know, not Assassin's Creed Three, which is yeah. exactly what I want. Um, like I bought the Banner Saga, still haven't played that. Uh, bought Total War, uh, Rome Total War Two, and stopped and played that. Um, I played a bunch of uh, Kerbal Space Program and had some fun with that, I guess. Um, that, yeah, that that's that's pretty awesome. If you if you liked uh, that, um, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, um, but a bit more sort of free form from that, um, and a bit more uh, sort of in depth. Uh, Kill Space program is a uh, is pretty awesome. Um, again, I think that's still technically like in alpha or something, like early access stuff. But uh, it seems like fairly well put together. Like it's never like broke on me. Um, I just think there's like there's still content that they they need to put in. But um, like the tutorials that are already in there, um, and the the sort of the stuff you can put on your ship and stuff uh, all seems fairly. Uh, fairly you know complete um so you can you can have fun in that game yeah. uh unlike i don't know daisy is i still like daisy uh i still think it's a really interesting idea but i just think that it's it's sort of messed up still um um yeah uh god let's see played some payday 2 because it was free weekend on steam this weekend and i'd been playing some payday 1 with some some mates um that seems I don't know if you like Payday One, you'll yeah. maybe like Payday Two. It's it's not really massively different in any way. Um, God, try to play some uh, Cry of Fear, which is a weird co-op horror uh, survival horror game, um, which is free to play, uh, and couldn't get the online stuff to work because you need like Hamachi or something, and it's a bunch of bullshit. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I've been like, I've been like, 
tooling around and stuff for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, trying to figure it out and then sort of giving up because my attention span seems to have dropped dramatically in recent months. Is that in line with getting a job? Yeah, I found much. Yeah, I found that. Like, you... um. You far less willing to like. It was funny actually. You know when I first played um, uh, Oli Oli on the Vita, mm. for the first like five minutes, I was almost close to thinking, "Ah, fuck this game." <laughs> but then, like, yeah. just that extra two minutes, like everything just sort of clicked, and I was like, "Oh no, this game is actually really cool." Yeah, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just it. It's a it's a bad thing because I, I, I bore these games and. I do really want to play them. It's just, I think it is pretty normal. Like a though. start, and it's just, yeah. yeah. I think it is pretty normal. Um, like you, you, you go from like having sort of like eight or nine hours a day of like free time to having like three or four. Like you know, you do become far more selective what games you play. I think that's mm. just part of the course, but yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been surprisingly unproductive these last three weeks um i will i will definitely play dark souls 2 at some point it's just i was trying to figure out a way of getting it to play on my um on my monitor like um but and get the audio as well but then i'd have to change my speakers to be hooked into my monitor which i don't want to do because then I want. I basically want to have like my a, a video playing uh, from my uh, my computer while having the Dark Souls on the uh, on the actual main monitor. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I can't. I can't be able to figure it out at the minute. It's probably re- like a really easy solution that I'm not thinking of. I also have like a, a severe lack of HDMI cables. Um. Buy more. So... Buy more HDMI cables. Yeah. The that would that would work maybe. Um. I think I might have thrown one out recently. I had one die on like, me I recently. I don't need HDMI cables. Actually, um, I had one die on me pretty hmm. recently. It was the one, um, I think it was the one that came with my uh, capture rig originally. Uh, and yeah, it just completely stopped working. Like, just wouldn't send, like, any signal or do anything. It was really strange. Hmm. But That's weird. They're like a tenner now for an HDMI yeah, cable. Oh, so. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not big investment. Remember Scott leads? Remember the days of Scott leads? Oh, they sucked. They really did yeah. suck ass. They. I still have some of them, like in my random cable box, for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why I even bother keeping them. Yeah. Um. So that was that was pretty much me for the last uh, three weeks. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, I didn't really play much either. Uh, obviously, I went to final round uh, last weekend. No. Yes. Yeah, it was last weekend. Yeah. So I played a lot of Injustice, uh, and the tournament mm. was fucking awesome. Uh, there was some shenanigans at the tournament, which I, I there's no point in me getting into because no one listening will probably care. But um, yeah, it wasn't ran like as smoothly as it possibly could have been. Uh. Like the morning of pools, like there was a pretty massive change, and you know, which resulted in quite a few people being sort of like, "What what the fuck is going on here?" Like it, like because until then, like it was everything was kind of laid out, but then when that happened, everybody was just kind of thrown off straight away. Yeah. But yeah, that was pretty much like that tournament and that weekend, pretty much taking up playing nothing but Injustice. It's always it's always weird to go from like playing it online and then offline like straight away. Like it took me a good probably hour of playing like casuals with people to actually get my execution back for like mm. offline timing. Um, and then like likewise, having now come back and playing it online, it's taking me fucking ages to get it back for online. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, that was an awesome experience. I'd highly recommend, and I said, about, I said this last year about it, like, if you are considering going to something like that and don't, don't want to for whatever reason, just just go. You'll have a great just time. Go, yeah. yeah. You won't not enjoy it. Like, everybody there is really, really cool. You know, I like, don't judge it by the stream, I guess is what I'm saying. So I think <laughs> a few people can do that. Like, they can kind of judge it by the stream. Like, everybody is super approachable. Um, I was able to get games with, you know, quote unquote, you know, the the celebrities of the scene, for lack mm. of a better phrase. And yeah, like everybody's just really cool. Like that's, uh, I do think that's the plus side of like the, you know, MR, NRS like Mortal Kombat like S community. Like everybody is just super approachable and really friendly. So that was awesome. Uh, games I played, I'm trying to think because I think I did actually play some new shit. But I played a shit more Oli Oli. That game, mm. God, that game is really good. 
like this. Yep. Any, um, how far are you through like the stages in it at the moment? Oh god, I can't, it's been it's been a while since I since I actually played it, but um, I think I got a decent way through it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think I'm at the final set of stages now. Mm. And when you get to that point, like I think like the 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 amateur levels are kind of a wash. Like those aren't really that good. Um, but I think once you get to actually play the pro levels, like they actually start like giving you a bit of credit. Yeah. Because the like some of the amateur levels, like even on the third like set of them, you know, it's like get a combo of like eighty k, and it's it's, yeah, it's a level yeah. where like the entire level can be done in one combo, and you know it's pretty hard to because like some of the pro levels are actually pretty interesting because they actually give you, you know, um like just being able to grind everything is kind of the best way to just get across a level and complete it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas when they start throwing in like a lot of challenges where like you're never allowed to push, like that's a pretty common one in the mm. levels. Yeah. Like you can't push, you can't grind, but you've still got to have like 100% perfect landings and still get a certain score. Like, yeah, so yeah. it really like enforces you to get like the perfect landings down, like timing the jumps properly. Like it's, it's really yeah. awesome. Like that is a, a really great game and I haven't cared about a skateboarding game in a very, very long time. Yeah. Probably like on Tony Hawk's Underground 1 was the last time I really cared about a skateboarding game. But yeah, that yeah. game is still really cool. Um, I'm trying to think, I think Yeah, I think the, the way they, like, the way they make the challenges make you better at the game is, is really intelligent, mm-hmm. basically. Um, yeah. Like, that's, that's sort of been my problem with, like, score-based games is I never feel like I'm learning anything, like, Unless I went out and watched a YouTube video where some guys like, okay, like you need to do this yeah. to like to get a better score. Like I, I always feel like I'm sort of locked out of that top tier just because I, I don't really have the the motivation to go out and sort of figure out the game myself. Yeah. But, and I think like Ollie Ollie does a does a pretty good idea, a pretty good job of sort of uncovering how to be better at that game, basically. Yeah, I think that um, is a really good point. The um I think a lot of it is kind of centered around the because like a lot of the tips you see is like around the perfect stuff, like you know, like the perfect grind system and the perfect landing yeah. system. Because on some of the later levels, like I was seeing, I was looking, I was checking out some of the high scores, and I saw some in the millions, and just kind of thought, like, how the fuck did people get a score that good? Um, yeah. And then once you do like some of the like second and third world pro levels, you kind of you start hitting the millions like pretty easily. It's like because the com- mm. like the entire levels can just be comboed. And once you yeah. really get the perfect landing and perfect grinds down, it's 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 just fucking awesome. That's a yeah, yeah. that's one of the best like downloaded games I've played on the Vita. Um, yeah. And uh, speaking of Vita cool. games, also also played quite a bit more Hotline Miami this past week. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that game. I don't know. I, I still find that game really hard to describe because um, I was playing mm. it because um, there, there was hardly anybody. Ironically enough, um, there was a lot of 3DSs at the tournament, but very few Vitas. Which is strange. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like a few people were asking about Hotline Miami, and it was one of those games where you think, oh yeah, it's a um, it's a <laughs> like it's a puzzle game, kind of. Like yeah, it's, it's very um, hard to describe that game. I, I always find it's a, yeah, it's a, I mean it's awesome. Top down. Yeah. Shooter, but I I, don't, I, I really don't, I don't know. know how you describe it. Like I think it is more like. If if I would call it anything, it is more like sort of like an action puzzle game, kind of like because the mm. you know there is like an element of action to it, but the you know you're very rarely going to do like a probably the earlier levels you could, but you're not going to do like the really really later levels in one go without dying. Like it's, oh, no. it's very yeah. much just figuring out oh I need to do this 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 and this, like change weapons here, then go here. Like it's very much like figuring out a puzzle, and then once you get yeah. to like a certain point in the level. You can put all those pieces together, and then you get like that perfect run of the level. Um, yeah, but yeah, that 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 game is just really awesome, and I'd really like to see another mm. one of that. Um, I remember thinking, didn't they say? I remember hearing like they were planning a sequel, or there was going to be. I know oh, there's there's like an there is it's announced. And so yeah, it's, I think it's coming out this year actually. Um, I believe it's called Missed Call. Wrong number. That's the one. That was. Awesome. Um, I hope yeah, that comes out. On, uh, um, I really hope that comes out on Vita like straight away. That seems. Like... I believe it. I believe it will be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, the Vita's Windows, like... PS3, PS4, and Vita. Yeah, the I Vita's fast becoming so. my platform for all games like that. You know, like, the, like it was funny enough because yeah. when I first got my PC, they were the kind of games I'd play on Steam, 
Um, yeah, yeah. What was it? Uh, you know, remember Gunpoint, the one that we... Uh, I only found that yes. out because of like our Game of the Year stuff. Like, I really like that game, but I haven't played it since I bought it because it's just not a game I'm going to play on my PC. No, it's just, no. Um... It's not a game I would use this PC to play. Um, like, ironically enough, like I got um, a new PC and all that set up at work, and I'll probably just like play that like on break time at work or something because it is it's that kind of game. It's not the kind of game... I will sit down and like, you know, kind of marathon for, you know, hours and hours. Like I, that's pretty much the only reason I play a game on my PC is, you know, if I'm going to play it for pretty much anything longer than an hour, like that's when yeah. I'll play a PC game. Um, so yeah, I think the Vita is a great system for that. So I'm trying to think, I swear there's something else I played, but I really can't remember what it was. It probably wasn't anything new. <laughs> That's probably why, but no, I can't remember. So that pretty much does it for this week. Like, uh, I know the the new Infamous came out, uh, and it did get me kind of yeah, got me kind of looking at PS4s. But yeah, it's got me thinking. But nah, uh, it's it's just mm-hmm. yeah. I'm gonna wait. Like I I really like Infamous, and I think that new Infamous looks pretty cool. But uh, I'm not gonna play pay like 300, 400 quid just to play Infamous, which at the minute is the only thing that's that would. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me too. That me too. That's the only game like that's even interesting me. Yeah, it's um, it feels really weird to be like several months into a new console cycle and just really not give a shit yet. I, no, like it's yeah. I don't know if it, like I th- maybe it's because like it has been so long since the cycle. Like the last time a new console came out was, you know, I was what like sixteen, seventeen. You know, like mm. you're in a much different place at that time. So oh yeah, yeah. Whereas now it's like oh no, I'll wait. Like I'm still yeah. like full on planning on waiting for the slim version, unless they do like a a, a revision sooner than that. You never know; they might do. Um, but I imagine they're still like probably a year or a year and a half out. Yeah. So I could see them maybe doing it next year, like late next year, if they had if like it's all if they could time it right. If they could bring mm. it out like maybe October, November next year, like that'd time it pretty well for Christmas and stuff and the holidays. But yeah, that's pretty much why I'm waiting. Yeah. The uh, and, like the the new Xbox still. Like there's there's zero reason to own one of them. Uh, no, I, I know Titanfall no. came out, but like I would imagine Titanfall probably has a bigger player base on 360 and PC, just because you know there's way fucking yeah. 360s out there and there's way more PCs out there than there are Xbox Ones. So, but who knows? Maybe yeah. it's a lot better on Xbox One. But it's like at the end of the day, even though it is like the the whole mech shooter thing, like it's it's still just shooting dudes. It's not. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of why because I actually forgot that had come out because this week um, I was talking to a guy at work about it, um, and um, he was asking me about it and asked me if I got it. And I said no because I didn't actually think it was out, mm. and it was weird. It was one of those games where like I was kind of anticipating it, like that game coming out being a huge deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yet yeah. It seems to not have been that big of a deal. Like it's just like it's out and there's not really no, it's like, not yeah. You know, maybe it's because of the whole like, because it has, it has got quite a history that game when you think about it. But um, yeah, like there's not really much kind of out there in terms of you know the the content, which seems it's, yeah a bit um, yeah, and it's not been any yeah. usual like sales bullshit about oh it's all yeah. one bazillion copies yeah I mean I'm um, sure it's you'd not expect fine, but... yeah 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 um, but I don't think it's I don't know. It's I don't think it's, it's done. Now. Maybe what? Yeah, like maybe EA were banking on purely like the sort of heritage. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's quite a way out now that you think about it. I mean, oh, we have played. Sorry. I was gonna say we we have played absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's crazy, nothing, but. Yeah, I think it's uh, like you're thinking about that though, because like it is interesting, but like that is quite a way out now. You think like Modern Warfare Two was what 2009, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's like that is like almost five years old. Like it's not, it's not, it's not like surprising that you know after five years the the Call of Duty fad, you know, it's not worn off, but people, you know, they're probably just very very happy playing Call of Duty. It's not like yeah, they're gonna jump at something new. Have you heard much yeah. about the campaign in it? Because I've heard like the campaign's kind of a, a complete, you know, non-issue. It's... Well, the, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's a, it sounds really weird. Um, just from listening to the uh, the bombcast, like it sounds like sort of just 
why does it exist? Yeah. It's, or like, like what uh, like the way the way they were hyping it up to be this amalgamation of single player and multiplayer stuff, it, it sounds just nothing like that really. Um Yeah. Like it's basically multiplayer but with people speaking over the top of it. Um, which sounds really bad. Yeah. Uh and sounds like the sort of thing that games used to do when they couldn't be bothered to have an actual single player. Yeah. Um which yeah, it just it's it's it doesn't sound like it's anything like they were having it up to be. Um which sucks. Um but yeah, I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm really not interested in Titanfall at all. Um Nah. Um like it's it's mainly just got to the point for I think shooters in general, like um, Xbox. Oh, I just remembered actually why I had played this other weekend. Uh, like, there's a um, Xbox Live have like a free weekend this weekend. Um, and I went and played like just about half an hour of Gears Three, um, just because it was free. I was like, yeah, I'll you know pop this in and see what's happening. And it's funny, like the I stopped playing that game regularly almost two years ago, and mm. like it's so weird how like just watching that game like being played like the the meta like hasn't evolved like at all like from like the same issues that plagued that game like playing it kind of solo that were happening two years ago are still happening now like you know people still play it exactly the same way as they do two years ago it's i don't know i think that's like like kind of an issue with shooters um it depends on the shooter i mean it depends on who you play with but it's that is something that is kind of like disappointing a little bit. It's like, yeah, people are still playing this the exact same way as they were in, you know, 2012. That kind of sucks. Like, you know, would have been cool if it had evolved a little bit more since then. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, I think that does us for what we've been playing, which is um, not a lot in short. Nope. But what can you do? Um,. Yeah, and there's there's not that much news either. <laughs> no, uh, not a lot of news. Although there is news that's not related to games. Did you know they're changing the pound coin? Yeah, I saw that. Did I, well, I didn't actually see the the new design, but I, I did hear about it. <laughs> um, yeah, Breaking apparently news. it's like really hard to make fakes yeah, of. Yeah, because apparently like the, the current yeah. one was piece of piss to count. Oh yeah, it was like twelve yeah. percent or something of all of them were fake. Um, yeah, which like has really made me start looking at my pound coins now. <laughs> like, oh no, I like I've definitely I've had a load of fake. So have I. Like I, I've definitely noticed coins. them, but like I start looking. At I had them. one that was ba- was that was like flat on like it was it was weird. It was like I'm trying to. It was like a cube basically with rounded edges, <laughs> um, which is obviously a really bad fake. But I actually think I, I think I got rid of it. Yeah. I always try and use. I don't, them I don't know how it happened, but the you know like self service machines. I always try and yeah, use them yeah. that because they seem to like be accepted in that pretty easily. So yeah, um, I had one that would like got the writing on the on the back uh, wrong, um, which was which seems dumb. Like if you get, if you're gonna make a fake pound coin, at least get like the basic details right. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much news really. Um, the Sony announced that Project Morpheus thing, um, which is basically their sort of competition uh, to um, the Oculus Rift. Uh, it's a it's a big VR headset thing, which which looks pretty cool. Um, and I, apparently, was it was at a GDC this past week. Um, so people have, have actually used it. It's not some crazy pie in the sky thing. Like it, it does actually exist. Um, yeah. Uh, but I mean, apparently, it's, apparently it's quite good. Like just hearing vague stuff from from GDC. So that's that's cool. I guess. Yeah, that is cool. I wouldn't uh, be surprised. I mean, Sony, you know, Sony are a hardware company first and foremost. I mean, that's what they do. And uh, I think that'd actually yeah. be pretty cool because the Oculus Rift. Like, have you used one yet? Uh, no. Yeah, the I know uh, like when Brad used one, I did wonder if it was just me, but the like the resolution at like that close, it just looks like shit. It just mm. it doesn't look good at all. So maybe Sony could help with that. I have no idea, but I think like that that's such a way off from being like I don't want to say relevant, but 
it seems like that's a long way off from being a priority for developers and or consumers. It's just I don't know. Like most people that like you mentioned it to don't even know that it, it exists. Like or that it's a thing. Yeah. So But who knows? But uh, was that really it for news? Is it that been, um, been that dead of a month? There was, um, I mean, there was, there, was, there was stuff from a couple of weeks ago, which obviously we didn't pick up on because we didn't record, like Jack Trenton leaving Sony um, and Amy Hennig leaving uh, Naughty Dog. Um, Koji Garashi just recently left Konami as well, so people are leaving to do other stuff. I, I, I can't remember what, I don't think Jack Trenton actually announced what he was doing. He's probably going to lie on a beach and drink. <laughs> Is that like other stuff, like gaming stuff? Like are they still moving on from, or, or are they like just moving on from games? Uh, Amy Amy Hennig, I imagine will because she, uh, she was for those of you who don't know, she uh, was like the lead writer on uh, Uncharted. Um, so I, I, I'd hope she stays in games because I really like the Uncharted games. Um, I really like the writing as well. So yeah, uh, Koji Garashi, I think it's pretty much said he's definitely staying in games. Yeah. Um, he was if you don't know, he's the dude who sort of made Castlevania um, and he's been at Konami for I think like 20 years or something he's breaking out and, and doing his own thing now um, which is cool to see I guess um, he that dude like that dude had a whip like all the time like like every <laughs> picture of Koji Rashi he's carrying a whip um, well you never know when you might need a whip yeah I mean uh, he's yeah he's, so he said he's, uh, he's, he's going to launch his own new independent studio um but that's been a sort of interesting trend over the past it feels like a couple of months actually like ken levine going out and i mean his situation was maybe a little bit different um what was uh irrational actually being closed down but um yeah like like big sort of triple a e sort of developers um going out and, and doing their own thing um, yeah, which is cool. It is cool actually because uh, um, thinking about that, like, and thinking ironically more enough about um, Titanfall, I was watching. Um, there's a a guy that I um, like subscribed to on YouTube who puts up like a lot of injustice stuff, um, but he also put up like some Titanfall stuff, and I was giving that like just kind of a quick watch, just to have a look at it. Um, and it, thinking about it, like, it's not. It didn't come as like much of a surprise, like thinking about the people leaving, because it seems to, especially now with like the new systems being out. It seems like the, you know, like the kind of the big AAA, whatever you want to call it, but like that sort of market, it's, it seems to have really got to the point where like more or less every single game that comes out is like the same kind of blueprint, but just a different, mm. you know, you know, a different current of paint or like whatever metaphor you want to use to describe it. But, you know, same engine, but just different bodywork. Like it's, it seems to be very sort of, you know, by the numbers, like, you know, I think Titanfall is probably an interesting example, and it's it's sort of what makes me want to play it just to see if, um, you know, you don't get like there's something that you're not getting just by watching it, but, um, you know, you just shoot dudes in the face, like yeah, you're in a mech, and yeah, that's cool, but you know, it it doesn't seem to change like the real fundamentals of like a shooter. It's it's still just mm. you you just shooting dudes in the face, and that's pretty much it. Um. You know, as I said, maybe there's something that's like you know lost in the translation to video. Who knows? Um, but like thinking about that, like you know, when you're in that kind of environment and in a development in studio, like they probably don't have a lot of freedom anymore to really, no. you know, do something different or just do something that they, yeah. you know, that's not by the numbers. And it's like you know, when you think about it, it's not that surprising anymore that they've got to that point. And ironically enough, like over the past year, two years, I think that's chalk that up to like a large reason why i haven't really played a lot because like you know when you see something new it's you don't you know it's a, it's a new game but it doesn't really look new it just seems like you know mm. a different spin on something that you've already played yeah um yeah it's so it's, it's cool to see. i mean yeah it's cool to see like koji Garashi leaving because he's been there for a, a while and he seems like it's it's on his own terms yeah like the 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 Amy Hennig thing got a bit weird with I think uh, IGN said like she was apparently forced out but that was that was like denied by um, the co-founder of Naughty Dog um, 
so yeah, that that stuff all got a bit a bit weird, and like I hope she wasn't forced out, but uh, I can't really see that being the case. Yeah, that doesn't. But, no. uh, Thinking about it, just logically, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. No, not really. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think she's she's really said uh, if she's planning on staying games or not. Um, Do you know if there's going to be any more on no. games? I can't imagine that. Uh, yeah, that series yeah. Alone. Well, there's that one that got got sort of announced, but not well. It got revealed, I guess, um, at E3, I think, where they, they just had some guy talking, and then it said Uncharted on the screen. All oh, right. Uh, that's that's going to be a PS4 game, so yeah, um, yeah. Uh, GDC ha- has just happened. I think. I think that was like the last the last week or whatever. Um, but there's not really there's not been a massive amount of news out of GDC really. Uh, but again, it's not usually the sort of GDC is more a chance of chance for developers to sort of get together and talk to each other as opposed yeah. to like revealing stuff um yeah i guess i guess the the big stuff coming out of out of gdc is the is the uh the orpheus uh, morpheus whatever it's called project morpheus, project, yes, project morpheus. um yeah well, that, I, was, like, I, was gonna, that, I wanted that. to call it morpheus rift then <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah that that's still like people getting a getting their hands on that i guess is the is the big sort of news out of that and people seem to quite like it, which is cool. Um, like, it, yeah, it's cool to see like developers actually going after that. Um, like, I thought that was totally going to be a, like a niche thing that like no one else would go for. Yeah. Um, and apparently, there's like there's a bunch now of of Oculus Rift competitors. There's uh, this Seabright, um, which looks really weird. And the cortex, um, but yeah, uh, that's cool because I don't know. I am still slightly disturbed by the idea of everyone playing games on a VR headset um, and not being able to see the outside world. But I don't think it works for every game. I crazy. mean, like, I yeah. think like that was something that and, until I used one, I was like fifty fifty on. But after using one, like there, there there's definitely a certain like I think for like two D kind of like 2d side scrolling games it's it's really cool like it actually really does work mm. um but i would not want to play you know gears of war with that like i, I would want to play no, gears no. of war with a controller and you know that's fine yeah um i just think for like for a certain type of game i think it is a really cool idea but i don't think i, I don't think it applies to every kind of game and you know it, it nor and it shouldn't necessarily like you know there's plenty of things that work for some games that don't work for others and to a certain extent mm. hardware is no different in that regard yeah um that's not that though i don't <laughs> it's been really quiet oh shit the like walking dead. Much... yeah caught up with um dead. yeah I'm, I'm caught up um let's talk about that then because fuck video like... games yeah that that last episode, I think, has made me hopeful for the rest of the series because I was starting to drop off after like there was that Daryl and Beth episode, which was terrible. Yeah, um, I really didn't like that episode. And then there was just the episode where it was Maggie and um, those are the like, Sonia. Is that a name? I don't actually know their their names, which I think says a lot. Tyrese's Tyrese's sister and the guy from the Wire, basically. Yeah, the alcohol. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. This last episode was uh, was pretty grim. Was uh, mm. was was pretty rough. Was, yeah, they were. Yeah, they went. They went some places that I didn't expect them to go. Yeah. But uh, I think it was actually handled quite well. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, I think they. Um, I think they managed to pull it off as well. I mean, fuck it. That's just like spoiler territory. If you haven't seen The Walking Dead, you should stop listening. Um, but, yeah. Like the the episode before this, like I remember thinking, I really hope that the kids get killed off soon because they're both absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah. And like people just need to learn that, like, like think about this: the best TV, like the best TV and TV shows, like never have kids in them. Think about that. Well, they 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 just don't. That's not true. Oh come on. The Wire, the Wire had kids in. I haven't seen The Wire, but I'm just speaking from you okay. know personal viewing experience the the best tv shows i can think of do not have children in them ever 
because children are terrible <laughs> in TV shows and children for the most part can never act. So <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, I think they did pull it off really well. The um the crazy one, I can't remember her name. Um but I actually thought um, like her stuff was done well and like her performance yeah. was actually good. Like it was it was interesting, like the kind of perspective they tried to give it, like, you know, where she didn't understand what they were. Like I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, which is ridiculous in a certain way because it's like you know that like she must have seen people get eaten like and but you know I guess. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think like I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, I was not expecting. I think, it to I think go down the way it did. Yeah, that that the one of the best sort of moments from that episode is the bit when Carol is like basically you know like walking her outside yeah. to <laughs> execute her essentially <laughs> and like. She she starts crying and is like, "Oh, you're annoyed because I pointed the gun at you." Yeah, and like she did, she doesn't mention the fact that she like cut open her own sister or whatever. Like, <laughs> I thought that yeah, yeah, that was all, really good. That was I thought that whole and, all that stuff I, I was, uh, thought, was really like, well. You know, um, and, when they kind of went back to Tyrese, like, did it seem like like they had agreed on that because he, you know, he didn't really look. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, they must have. Yeah, they must have, uh, like, but not necessarily because like they do talk about it before then, don't they? And then they kind of just kind of goes off to something else i can't remember what yeah. um but yeah like they kind of agree on that which was which was good it's uh yeah uh, uh and the, yeah the, the bit with tyrese after when carol admits yeah uh, guilt uh i thought was, was done well as well so yeah i'm um, uh, like with all this sanctuary stuff what's it called terminus terminus yeah all, yeah all that stuff kicking off like that should be interesting yeah that's um true. um and there's Daryl with like the you know whatever you want to call them the weird bandit the weird man yeah. bandit people, but uh, uh yeah uh yeah I I don't know like those last the the two episodes before that had been pretty poor uh, um it's looking like they're, they're actually getting a move on and stuff's happening and they're willing to kill characters um like I imagine there's going to be a few more dead by the end of the series yeah um, I think um. It's weird, but like this, like this kind of second half of the seasons made me realize like the characters that like are kind of non-essential. Like I don't think Glenn <laughs> really needs to stay in it anymore. Like he doesn't mm. really. Oh yeah, I think like one of Glenn or Maggie will will be dead by the end of the series. Yeah, I think, um, I think Glenn's a bit more interesting than Maggie, just like on his own. Um, I think yeah. it's Glenn and Maggie together are just eh, like. Yeah, totally. Um, like their relationship doesn't interest me at all. Yeah, like, it's kind of Russell's course. Thought, like now that yeah, Herschel's I thought there. Glenn was Glenn was like really interesting, like in like season one and two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now he's now he's settled down. He's he's a bit boring. Um, yeah. Uh, Rick's. I don't know. That there hasn't really been that much of Rick in this second half. No, I mean he um, was pretty prominent in the first bit, so I suppose maybe they're like, yeah. trying to give us a bit of a break from Rick. Yeah, so, and he I think yeah, I think it's an interesting way to sort of approach the series by like doing episodes focused on like a few characters as opposed to trying to like capture every yeah. like bit that's happening with each group of characters because obviously everyone's split up now. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'm interested to see what happens when they reach terminus. Whether it's going to be like because I, I think like now it's pretty divergent from the, the comics like I don't think there is a place called Terminus ever in the comics yeah um, like that that, uh, that that army military guy that uh, that Glenn and that girl met uh, is is in the comics I think um, but the the other stuff isn't so yeah uh, I'm pretty excited yeah it is, um, it is getting good well um, quick Game of Thrones recap because you know the whole trailer shit is happening Mm. Um, thought Brad put, brought up a good point in our thread um, that it's getting really close. Like how the... far, like how far they are, like yeah, alluding to they're in in this pot in this season, and like there's, I mean, book four isn't very good, but no, there's still it seems to just be like yeah, we're just gonna skip that book, fuck it. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be because like a lot of the Iron Islands stuff is in book four, um, like the like I mean. Has Victorian even been mentioned in the show yet? I'm, I'm sure he's sure. been mentioned, but 
like people are gonna have no fucking idea who he is. Well, depending on how they introduce um, him, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird, like, because, well, I mm-hmm. I don't know. They're probably not gonna catch up by the end of the new the series coming out this year, but like next year they'll be they'll be pushing it and like uh, will they will the sixth book have been released by then like i mean it's who knows like the i i looked it up but i can't remember what it is but wasn't like the i think even the shortest amount of time between books was was it three years mm. i think it was three years um and dance with dragons was last year wasn't it it came out last year no dance dance with dragons is like 2011 i think was it yeah I think. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that up. I swore that was a lot later than that. Yeah, 2011. Oh, 2011. Um, wow. So, I mean, really, we should be seeing the books, the the sixth book soon, but that's still things will still be tight in terms of like. Yeah, because I mean, if there's another season next year, and say the book is out next year, then they've got to, you know, because like now they've had all the time in the world to sort of read the books and plan the series, whereas. You know, if the book comes out, they've got to kind of maybe it'll hurry them along a little bit. Who knows? Like yeah. maybe they'll just take a break from the show. I mean, that's not completely out of the question. Like if they, because it seems, yeah. you know, it seems pretty obvious that they don't want to make it shit. So maybe they will just, you know, have like a two-year break from the show and you know bring it back when they've adapted the book. Yeah, maybe that would like that would be a risky move, I guess. But there's yeah. there's not really another option. Yeah. As far as I can tell. I mean, um, what did you think of um, season three? Like overall, I thought it was good. Like, uh, I think this this series has been have been fairly consistent. Um, like, never like there's, there are some great episodes, um, and there are some some sort of average episodes, but it's it's been a pretty even level of. I don't know, just just decent quality stuff, and yeah, um, I, I don't know. I think I think the first season is still the best like by yeah, yeah by quite a large margin i think that is easily the best one yeah, yeah. um and like ironically enough because like books two and three i mean i'd say book three is definitely better than the first book but maybe that's mm. it's weird like saying which book is better because i think some of them just fall victim to where they take place in the timeline you think about yeah. like like the, like the main reason i think book four is you know kind of not very good is because you come off of book three after having so much stuff happen. Mm. And then, you know, mm. you think about it, like, narratively, there has to be a little bit of downtime. Otherwise, you you might get burnt out. Like, if you went straight from, like, you know, A Storm of Swords to A Dance with Dragons, you think, fucking hell, like, when's, you know, when where's the break? Where's the break in stuff yeah. happening? Um, but yeah, it does seem like they're getting pretty damn far along um, by season four. But uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I think the... Um, it's. It seems to be one of the few like seasons that spoilers like there's quite a few people at work that watch it and they have no idea what's coming in this season. Mm. Like they haven't again spoiler alert, but like, they have no idea that Joffrey's you know dead. Like there's gonna be yeah. no more Joffrey after the end of this season. Um, and even though that is awesome, it is kind of it's it's not really that big of a deal in the grand scheme of that story. It's you know. That's not cutting the head off of that snake, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, but there's other shit in the season as well. I mean, no point going over it all. But the, the, there is like the I think the Tyrion stuff is what I'm most looking forward to. I really do want to see how they handle that because it's weird how he's like he is a straight up villain, but at this point in the show he's more like an anti-hero kind of character. Mm. Um, whereas like from this point on in the books he's just straight up bad. Like he's, you know, yeah. just completely out for himself. Like there's, there's very little like he does for other people because of what happens in this season and what happens in the book. So I'm really looking forward to how they're going to do that. Uh, I think that about yeah. does us for this episode. That about does us because yeah. uh, I actually have to go. But uh, yeah, um, well we can wrap up then. Um, we've, we've been, yeah. I don't know. Like, there's no news. There's no yeah, games there's being no played. It's... There's nothing worth playing. Make some good games, people. Yeah, you fucking bastards. make good games. But yeah, speaking of which, <laughs> um, thinking of like not making good games, 
Um, that new Ninja Gaiden came out, you know, the whole, like, Yai mm. or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, and I looked at that on Steam, and uh, my, my, first, my original thought was, you know, the vein glimmer, ooh, awesome, an NG game on PC, that'd be sick. And, like, the first entire page of reviews was just, this is a steaming pile of shit. Um, well, great. And the one good review was some guy, like, nothing against him, but, like, he liked it because it wasn't Ninja Gaiden. And it's like, ugh! Okay. Just let this series well. die because it's it is dead. So just stop it. Yeah. Like it's dead. Leave it alone. Anyway, <sighs> that will do it oh, for well. this week, people. Ending on a yes, really positive note. <laughs> games suck. Yeah, video games are fucking terrible. Um, but who knows? They may get good again. So uh, Hopefully. yeah, send, email us well. at the Mighty Electronic Box at gmail dot com. Twitter us at yep. TMEB Podcast and. Yep. Yeah, that's it for social media bullshit. So yeah. we will see you guys next week. Peace. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a triple cast. It should be a three-man show next week. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. See you later, guys.